today we're going to demonstrate how to set up the Smart Home Metaforsa system from Lanitech. The Metaforsa kit is an all-in-one box smart home solution that has all the basic smart home functions. Here we have the main Metaforsa unit, power supply, leakage sensors, motion sensors, read switches and temperature sensors. Now we're going to demonstrate how to set up the system. The Metaforsa kit has this installation manual that has all the information on how to set up the system, technical specifications and instructions on how to connect various pieces of equipment to the system. Let's take a look at the main Metaforsa unit here. This is the main unit of the Metaforsa system. Right here we have 10 output channels for connecting various pieces of equipment uh, like lights, heating devices, valves, blinds, etc. And on this side we have the power supply connector, an Ethernet gateway, 16 input channels, a port for temperature sensors and a CAN bus for connecting the extension units. Let's connect everything to our main Metaforsa unit. The power supply, the Ethernet cable, motion sensors, leakage sensors, some switches, and some read switches. Now let's connect the temperature sensors. In order to demonstrate how the system works, we're going to connect these lamps and this valve to the system. Now we're connecting the lamps and this is our valve. In order to configure the system we will need an Apple or an Android tablet and the application that can be downloaded from either the Play Market or App Store. As you can see our Metaforce device has been detected by the system automatically. Let's click here and then click Next. Here we can see the scheme of the system. Right here we can see our input channels and we can change the uh, designation of the channel, whether it's a motion or a leak sensor or a read switch. Okay, same thing here. Now if we go to these output channels, we can also see that these ones are lights that we have connected. These ones, um, they can be also changed. Uh, right now they are by default set to be uh, control and heating devices. We can, uh, we can change their designation for being lights or lamps, but let's for now leave them as heating. We can turn on all of these lamps or we can activate the valve. Then we can go to sensors and there are the various sensors. Um, and we can go to climate control and here we can see uh, we can connect different radi radiators to the system. Right now the lamps are connected to the system instead of the radiators. So in the actual house these would be the radiators. Let's bind some switches to some lamps. For example we want to control that lamp over there. We need to go to edit mode over here. With long press we go to switch here. Now we need to choose the button that we want to connect to the to the particular lamp. Let's say this one. It's automatically detected by the system. We need to press bind and OK. And instantly we are able to control it whether from the tablet or from the, uh, from the switches. There are more things that you can do in the edit mode. Let's go to the settings of this first lamp again. In the general section we can choose the icon from the ones available and we can change the name of the device over here. If we go to the automation settings, we can set some automation settings. For example, we are saying that the light will turn on if the motion level is higher than 30% and we are saying it should turn off if the motion level is lower than 15% but let's say the measuring interval is one second in order to demonstrate this to you. Okay, 
And you see letter A has appeared here, automation. And voila, the light will turn on and it'll turn off when we take the hand away. Let's see how we can set up the protection from the leakage system. We're going, we're in edit mode, we're going into valve with the long press and we're going to the automation settings. Here are our two leakage sensors right here and let's activate them and press OK. Now, if we put one of them in the water, it should work. And it has. We can see that the system is closing the valve right now because a, a leakage has been detected. If we go into sensors, we will see that the sensor that is responsible for this one is red. It says alert. Okay, let's take it out of the water. And with a double tap, we can go into this menu and reset it because the problem has been solved. And now we can go back to the devices and open the valve again so the water can flow to our house. This is how it works. Let's set up the heating system. We are still in the edit mode. Let's take one press and let's choose one sensor and choose comfort temperature zone. Why? We can see now that the first temperature that appears here is the one that, that we currently have in the room. And this one is the desired temperature. So if we increase the temperature, the, the lamp that is supposed to be here instead of the radiator, it will turn on. So in the actual house, the radiator will turn on and the, tem the temperature um, will reach the desired 29 degrees Celsius in this case. Let's see what other things we can do. Let's go to setup. Uh, in the hardware section we see the scheme of the system again, where we can reconfigure the input channels and the output channels. If we go to structure, we can add different rooms or areas to your house if you have a large one. So right now you can see we have created two areas just by pressing this plus button here. If we press setup, we can see we have a choice of various things that we can put in these areas. We can drag and drop a lamp into area 2, for example, and we can drag and drop the radiator into area 1. And so apply and confirm. Now if we go to the menu, we can see that we have two areas, area 1 with the lamp and area 2 with the radiator. Okay, let's go back to the setup mode and see what else we have here. This is the section where we can get the updates uh, for the system. And this is the one where we can add new scripts for more complex scenarios like I'm home or I'm gone, where the house does more complex things for you than just one action. And then this is the one where we can enable or disable various services. We have shown you how to set up the smart home system uh, with just the use of a tablet. It's a basic setup that almost anybody can do. But Metaforsa system has more uh, possibilities and in our next video, we're going to show you these more advanced options uh, of the system and how to set this up. For now, goodbye and good luck!